The Omicron surge continues to take a toll on those scrambling to get home after the holidays. Some travelers heading overseas have to show a negative COVID test upon landing. So what they're doing is they're getting tested at the airport before they take off, which is leading to chaos. Here's the lineup here at LaGuardia Airport. At one point, it snaked all the way out to the sidewalk and the temperatures here hovering around 18 degrees. It almost feels worse than last year. I don't know why. I think it's because everybody has it. Some of the daytime talk shows have gone remote again. The ladies of The View are back in their Brady Bunch boxes. And no Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopi unfortunately tested positive over the break, but she'll be back probably next week. We're back at home out of an abundance of caution. Kelly Ripa and Ryan Seacrest are also hosting their show from home with their producers on Zoom filling in for the audience. And Jimmy Fallon just revealed he tested positive at his studio before the holidays. He found himself quarantined in an isolation room while waiting for a ride home. He was back on his show last night, fully recovered. I want to uh, I just tell everyone, please, out there, get vaxxed. If you can, get vaxxed, get boosted, because, man, this thing, it's a, it's a banger. It's a real thing. I mean, you, 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 I, if I didn't have that, I, I know it just felt like I would be real, 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 real sick. Uh, Happy New Year, everybody! Seth Meyers, who follows Fallon, just announced he tested positive for COVID and is canceling his show for the rest of the week. I feel fine, he tweeted. Thanks, vaccines and booster.